What's happening everybody? This is John McLennan and I'm here with GuitarControl.com bringing you this video blog. And uh, what we're going to look at today is a 251 line by uh, Pat Martino. And uh, it demonstrates some, some interesting bebop formula and it, you may, if you're just starting to get into jazz, uh, you're going to want to practice playing over 251. So let me just start out showing you the chords that this goes over. D minor 7, G7, C major 7. And so those are just some stock shapes that you can play. And uh, the lick's going to start here on the 6th fret. And then at 6, and we right away jump down to the 7th the, uh, fret here. So that right away sounds like D minor to me. Now all of a sudden chromatically we get down to our G7, which that's uh, another typical bebop formula right there, where you're thinking about, uh, you know, an enclosure of this note being natural. So, and then outlining a, a G7 flat 9 arpeggio. Another bebop formula, the same thing. So, in fact, you can hear this chord resolving to, you know, so this is a G7 flat 9. I'm using my thumb here. This would be 3rd fret, 3rd fret, 4th fret, 5th fret, 4th fret, resolving to that C major 7 chord. So, again, uh, be sure to click the link for the tab so you can clarify if you have any uh, questions. But uh, let's try to lick again slowly. Once again, my name is John McLennan. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.